everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a slow cooker teriyaki chicken. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I've made teriyaki chicken a handful of times and this is by far the best recipe I think I've come up with. So I went ahead and chopped up and diced and minced what I needed to for the sauce ingredients first. And I'm going to add some ground black pepper into this. And you'll notice with the soy sauce, if you do not have a low sodium soy sauce or low sodium tamari, go ahead and just use regular soy sauce or tamari and then add a quarter cup of water on top of that into your bowl. I'm also pouring in a quarter cup of rice wine and adding a half a cup of brown sugar Splenda. If you don't have that, go ahead and use honey in place of it and then give this all a good stir. I'm using two pounds of frozen chicken breast, but use any part of the chicken that you'd like. Throw your mixture into this and cook this for no more than four hours, otherwise you'll get the weird texture in your chicken. Now let's go ahead and prep our veggies in advance so we can get all this taken care of and just dump everything in when it's time to. Use whatever veggies you'd like, whatever's your favorite or your preference, but I'm going to start off using carrots and I'm cutting them diagonally all the way down just to give it a different look. Since I am prepping all of my veggies in advance, I'm just going to go ahead and set all of these aside into a bowl. As for the onion, if you don't want any more onion into your sauce from the diced onion that we have in there from earlier, skip this part. It's not necessary. Because my kids love broccoli so much, I ended up buying this ginormous broccoli head for us just to make sure all four of us could get some because otherwise they will eat all of it. But go ahead and cut these up however you'd like to. They'll eat every single bit of it so I just went ahead and gave it a little slice to help rip it apart. Now just for the little extra part, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I just grabbed one green onion and I'm going to go ahead and chop these up so I can sprinkle this on top when I'm ready to plate my food. To thicken up our sauce, we're going to be using three tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. Every time I go back and look at these videos, I'm just like, wow, I did that. All right, getting back to this. So go ahead and mix up a, a little bit of your chicken inside of the crock pot and then add your cornstarch right into it and try to give that a good mix as well. Once your sauce looks a bit creamy, grab all the veggies that we cut ahead of time and put that inside of your crock pot. Now carefully try to mix all this up, trying to get some sauce on top of the veggies. My crock pot was a little bit more crowded because of all the broccoli. So do the best that you can, cover this up, and let it cook for 30 more minutes and let's get ready to plate our food. I went ahead and served mine right over rice, sprinkling my garnish on top, and that's it. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, and until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.